Greetings, everyone, and welcome to day six of the 30-Day Hydration Challenge. These last few days, I've really wanted to share with you some ways that you can think about using different types of water and what those waters are. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about tap water, which is a little bit on the controversial side because no two tap waters in different cities, different states are alike. It's really contingent on how that tap water is processed in that particular place. All right. So I actually pulled some water. This is tap water that came from my, my faucet in my kitchen. And I live in Atlanta. You know, if you actually look at, you know, all of the different um, regulations of how drinking water is regulated, it'll say, you know, it's, it's safe to drink, right? One of the things that we do need to be mindful of is if there's like a water main break, usually they tell you not to drink the tap water, to boil it, you know, before you even try to use it because there might be some contaminants that's inside of the water, okay? But see, like tap water is funny because it's not 100% water. It's actually a combination of other things. There are quite a few substances that are added to tap water. Some of them are fluoride, right? Some of them are chlorine, right? So we add fluoride, if you know historically about why fluoride is added to water is to kind of protect our teeth. And then chlorine is added, it's like this really small amount of chlorine that's added to the water to ensure that nothing kind of gets us sick in the tummy, things of that nature. There's also added minerals to water, right? So sometimes, you know, those minerals don't make people feel good, but there's small, small traces of minerals that are added inside of the water. Things like potassium, things like iron, things like phosphorus, zinc, all of those things are added to the water. And then the other piece of tap water, the thing that's added to there that is unbeknownst to us is contaminants. So remember what I said earlier, depending on where the water comes from, sometimes there are contaminants in the water. So it's not always safe to drink your tap water unless you run it through a filter. And even when you run it through a filter, just a basic filter, you're really not getting all of the contaminations out. And again, these are on low levels. This, the, these are things that are okay for you to drink. You know, you're not going to really get sick. But the fact that you know that it's there, it's like, hmm, if I can do better, let me do better. Let me choose a water that's going to be better for me. You know, someone actually um, added in a, a question to one of the comments. They said, you know, can you boil tap water? And you absolutely certainly can boil tap water, but just know that even though you boil the tap water, you're not removing all of the contaminants from the tap water, okay? Sometimes bacteria and parasites are also in the tap water. Again, depending on where you are. You know, um, much of our water is regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency um, at the state level, right? So they wanna ensure that there are different uh, or really standard levels of cleanliness for the waters that we drink. Um, but you wanna be mindful about, you know, what those regulations are and what's inside of your water. You can actually really do the research at the state level to see, well, what, what's the allowable amount of things that are in your tap water? So I would just say, you know, if you, you know, at the end of the day, if you can't drink any other water, if you can have access to any of the waters that we're talking about, then and tap water is your absolute last option, then do it. But I just want you all to know all that goes into tap water, okay? Um, you also got to be mindful, depending on where you are, if there are heavy metals in your tap water, if there are chemicals in your tap water, okay? So please, you know, do your research for your respective city to see what's allowed in your tap water. And when you are drinking, just, you know, be mindful, be careful. And if you're at all possible able to choose um, waters that we've talked about, or if you are able to use a filter just so that you can remove at least some of the contaminants that we were talking about, or, you know, just anything, you want to make sure that you do that. All right. So please drop in the comments, you know, for me, one, your water goal for today. And then, you know, 
what kinds of questions do you have about your water in your respective cities? There are many people who are doing this water challenge who are all over the country. What kind of questions do you have for me about the water in your respective city? Drop it in the comments and I'll be sure to take a look and respond. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.